Hey again, Pokemon trainers. As promised, we have the details for you for the Luminous Legends Y event in Pokemon Go. So the event that's happening right now, the Luminous Legends X event is ongoing and we are about to switch over to its follow-up event, the Luminous Legends Y event. So let's cover the details before we get going. If this is your first time on the channel, it's so good to meet you. Obviously this is a Pokemon Go channel, so if you like that, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, let's get this info up. Well, trainers, we knew this was coming. As you know, Eveltal is making its debut in Pokemon Go. It's going to be our new legendary raid boss for the latter half of May 2021 in the game. And along with this, we're getting a whole set of events and bonuses and Pokemon and challenges, just like we did in the previous Luminous Legends X event. And one super exciting thing to discuss here, if you saw my last video, we were wondering what the heck is gonna happen to Pancham. We unlocked that Pokemon into the game by catching 500 million fairy type Pokemon. Here they are, they're in the game, starting off in raids, but will we see them in the wild after? It looks like starting May 18th, during this Y event, we're going to start seeing Pancham hatching from strange eggs. So for anyone who is not aware, the strange eggs are those red eggs that you get from Go Rocket Leader Boss bosses when you defeat them. To get them, you of course have to have egg space in your storage. So if you want to be grinding Pancham or any of the other strange eggs, make sure that before you defeat our rocket leader boss, Sierra, Arlo, or Cliff, you do have space in your storage for one egg. So speaking of Team Go Rocket, for this event, it seems like Team Go Rocket has gotten word of Eveltal's upcoming appearance in the game. And they're going to be turning more Pokemon into shadow Pokemon for the first week of this event. So it is up to us to rescue those shadow Pokemon from these rocket grunts. It also looks like there's going to be some differences in how we battle these rocket grunts, including how they strategize in battle. In a nutshell, it looks like what this means is that there's going to be different types of Pokemon that Team Go Rocket grunts have. And now it looks like multiple Team Go Rocket grunts can challenge us at once. So my thought here is that normally when we see a Rocket grunt, they have the same species type for all three Pokemon that you have to battle during that battle. It sounds like what we might be seeing now are different types of Pokemon all together in one battle which as this says, it may be more than one grunt that pops in at a time. So this is gonna require us to do a lot more strategizing when we're putting Pokemon in for battle. We can't just spam what we know will be the best typing against what we know those grunts have. So this, this should be fun. It's kind of changing things up. It's gonna require more thinking on our part, possibly no more rocket grunt autopiloting. So anyway, it does also look like this event is going to be split up in two, which is kind of similar for the X event. We had no bonuses and then bonuses, but this one looks a little bit different. So in the second half of the Y event, we are finally going to to see the release of Sylveon. So Sylveon is the fairy type evolution for Eevee and some of you may have seen that the nickname feature for Sylveon was available in the game but that if you tried to use it by naming Eevee Kira it would give you a network error. So we knew this was coming, but now it's finally here. Of course, this Eeveelution is one from the Kalos region. As you know, these are the newest Pokemon to the game that are currently being released. And those details will be the biggest things happening in this event. Now let's go over them detail by detail. So first, this event is going to start on May 18th at 10 a.m. So in between the X and Y event, we do have a little bit of space. It's not going to switch directly from one to the other. We have some hours. And part one of this event is going to go through May 24th at 8 p.m. And these of course are local times. So like we discussed earlier, Eveltal is going to be making its Pokemon Go debut in five star raids. Now, if you need counter guides for battling Eveltal, make sure to click the link just up above or down in the description for a Eveltal raid guide that I have up on the channel right now. Now, Eveltal is going to remain in five-star raids through the entirety of the event, so part one and part two. Next up, in addition to Pancham being added to the 12 kilometer strange eggs, you can also expect to see the pool of Pokemon, including Quillfish, Larvitar, Absol, Skaroopy, Sandile, Scraggy, Ponyard, Vullaby, and Dino. Who still needs that green dinosaur? Now also during the first part, dark type Pokemon are going to be appearing more often in the wild. This is going to include Pokemon like Houndour, Carvana, and more. We will also still see some of the newer Pokemon that came to the game during the Luminous Legends X event like Swirlix, Spritzy, and Goomy who I still have not caught because I'm lazy. 
Now also, if you complete a Team Go Rocket themed timed research, you will be rewarded with dark type Pokemon like Galarian Zigzagoon. Our seven kilometer egg Pokemon pool is also going to change. Ordinarily, I would be upset about this because as you know, we were getting Gibble in seven kilometer eggs, but we no longer need to grind eggs for shiny Gibble because you may have heard that Gibble is going to be our June Pokemon Go Community Day Pokemon. But what you can expect to see during this event in Seven Kilometer Eggs is a Lolan Rattata, a Lolan Meowth, a Lolan Grimer, Sneasel, Puchena, Stunky, and Purloin. Additionally, we're also going to see a lot of these dark type Pokemon in raids, including a Lolan Meowth. And if you need information on what mega raid Pokemon we're going to see, make sure to check out my May video. It has all the information in there. You can also read the Pokemon Go blog for the May events where you can find that info. Next up, new event exclusive field research tasks, which don't forget are marked by the little event note down at the bottom now when we get those in game. So you can distinguish between normal research tasks and event specific research tasks. As expected, we're going to see dark type Pokemon as rewards for those including Galarian Zigzagoon, Scraggy, and more. And if you really want Galarian Zigzagoon, you can also find that as a reward for some brand new AR mapping tasks. And now, honestly, probably my favorite part of this event so far, we are getting another chance to remove frustration from our shadow Pokemon. So all you need for this is a charged TM used on a Pokemon during this event will remove the move frustration that comes along with shadow Pokemon when you collect them from grunts. So in order to prepare for this, I definitely recommend spending some time going through your shadow Pokemon in your storage and tagging the ones that still have frustration that you wanna make sure you remove. Now we've had a lot of really good Pokemon come to us over the past few months, including Beldum, Larvitar, Bellsprout, for example, and these are all Pokemon that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you move frustration from. And now for the brand new global challenge that's going to be happening during this Luminous Legends Y event. It looks like this is going to be a Team Go Rocket Grunt, related global challenge. So just like the previous one, if we complete this challenge, we're going to be able to unlock exclusive rewards for the second half of the event. So what we are going to need to do together is defeat 25 million Team Go Rocket Grunts. This shouldn't be too hard. They are spawning a ton right now. And like our previous global challenge, it actually doesn't require any money to do. So this challenge is going to take place during the first half of the event from May 15th when the event starts through May 23rd. At the end of the day, UTC time. And if we meet that goal and we do defeat 25 million Team Go Rocket Grunts, the rewards we unlock will start on Tuesday, May 25th at 10 a.m. and last through Monday, May 31st at 8 p.m. Again, this one is local time. Now on to the rewards. The first one is going to be another three times catch bonus. Now we did this in the previous one and it was absolutely bonkers because we had it on calm day. So in this one, we will have it again. It's going to be a little less thrilling because there aren't any real major events happening alongside it, but three times catch XP nonetheless. Now this next one is something that I am super, super excited about. This is one of my favorite shiny Pokemon ever in the entire Pokemon series. And I'm so excited that it's coming to Pokemon Go. Shiny Galarian Zigzagoon. Okay, this Pokemon is basically one of those American dream red, white, and blue ice pops that we all loved as kids. I think that might be why it's one of my favorite shinies. But either way, I am so, so excited for the potential for this amazing shiny to come to the game. So listen, I need y'all to be out there battling Team Go Rocket Grunts. We need to get this thing. So if we do complete this global challenge and unlock this brand new shiny, it's going to first appear in raids. So much like Pancham, that is where we're going to see it. And additionally, much like shiny Ponyta, this Pokemon is going to be permanently in the game if we unlock it. So in raids for the remainder of the Luminous Legends Y event, but then additionally permanently in the game. Now, even if we don't unlock those rewards, there's still going to be a whole different second part of this Luminous Legends Y event. And that's going to start on May 5th at 10 a.m. and last through the end of the month, May 31st at 8 p.m. local time. So this second half of this, like we said before, is where we're going to see Sylveon introduced to the game. So this says that we're going to need to have Eevee as our buddy and earn hearts with Eevee as our buddy to evolve into Sylveon. Now, as you know, every single Eevee Lucian has a name unlock trick that can be used once in the game. So for Sylveon, that name is Kira. 
This means what you have to do is find an Eevee, you have to rename it Kira, and once you do that, you should be able to see the silhouette of Sylveon on your Evolve button, and then you can evolve that Eevee into Sylveon. Again, this can only be done one time. My assumption here is that this is going to be completely separate from the way that you would ordinarily evolve Eevee into a Sylveon, which is by making it your buddy and gaining hearts with it. Next up, our seven kilometer eggs pool is going to change again, sort of for the second half of this event. So now we're going to see Eevee, Cleffa, Iglybuff, Togepi, Azurel, and then continuing with our brand new Pokemon, Spritzy and Swirlex. In addition, we're going to see a bunch of evolutions appearing in three-star raids. This includes Vaporeon, Jolteon, Flareon, Espeon, and Umbreon. And we're also going to be able to encounter Eevee and some evolutions through event-exclusive field research, which also includes AR mapping tasks. And for AR mapping tasks, we will be rewarded with Poffins which should be super helpful when you're trying to earn hearts with Eevee as your buddy so that you can evolve it to Sylveon. And then finally, there's going to be some brand new Sylveon inspired avatar items in the shop. Sylveon's pretty cute, so hopefully those avatars will also be cute. Well, that is going to do it for the overview of the upcoming Luminous Legends Y event in Pokemon Go. Again, this starts on May 18th, so just the day after the Luminous Legends X event finishes. Don't forget, shiny Galarian Zigzagoon, so make sure you're battling those grunts. I'm going to battle every single one that I see. I don't care how tedious and tiring it gets. I need that popsicle. Anyway, as always, thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this and found it informative. If you did, let me know with a like or a comment. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that sub button. I love having you all here and I hope you all want to come back. So please have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week and I'll see you very soon in whatever the next video is going to be. Have an awesome day.